Crowman, a seaside town with lots of paranormal and strange activity. I'm Caroline, and I've lived here my whole life, and I want to find out more. Today I'm meeting Anna, who hosts the Ghost Walks in Crowman. So Anna, it's really nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. So tell me about yourself. Who are you? What do you do and why are you so interested in ghosts? I work here at Chroma Museum as a visitor services assistant. I've been working here for four years and uh, I do the ghost walks here. And my interest in ghosts stems from my, my dad. He uh, has done ghost hunting in the past and we've done lots of ghost walks together around the country. And he knew the, uh, the first person to invent the original ghost walk in this country, John Mitchell. Describe me some of the unexplained events that happened on the pier. Do you have any evidence of it? Well, uh, yeah, there's been a, a pier in Cromer since the 1390s, so it's had a long time to become the most haunted spot in Cromer. And uh, lots of people have said that they've seen shadowy appearances in and around the theatre, disembodied voices, footsteps, and glasses even being mysteriously smashed. Now, uh, plans to renovate this, the pier's theatre in 2003 were disturbed by an increase in these occurrences, and uh, they actually brought in a paranormal research group who detected several ghosts, including a woman from the 1920s, uh, a tall Victorian gentleman, a man with jet black hair, and an actress with a peculiar singing voice singing in the dressing room. But there's two particularly uh, famous Chromopier ghosts. One is Richard Condon. He was the uh, manager of Norwich Theatre Royal and responsible for launching the modern seaside special show at the pier. And he died in 1991, but people have often said that they've seen his ghost wandering the stage ever since. And the other one is known simply as Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth was featured in a 2009 episode of Most Haunted and the medium spoke to her and she told him that she'd been strangled on stage during a performance of Macbeth. Her other rumours surrounding her is that she was actually killed on stage with a misplaced prop knife and ever since then she's uh, wandered the stage, unable to find peace. And I myself uh, was in an amateur dramatics group and I was shown a picture of Elizabeth and uh, it just freaked me out. There were times that we were there and we could feel these cold spots and temperature drops. So being around the pier, you feel that atmosphere, yeah, definitely. Actually, we have a image um, of uh, someone on the pier and we want to know what you think and how you feel about it. Go oh yeah, let's have a look. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, so there's a definitely a strange face looking at the back of the room. But it's interesting because it's definitely not superimposed and there is something in the back there. So uh, I can't tell you what this is, but it's a very interesting picture. Tell me about some of the other ghost stories in Chroma. Do you think you can tell us? Mm, absolutely. Um, there is a story that takes place at the, uh, the graveyard at the Church of St. Peter and St. Paul. And in the Victorian times, the church would have stood in ruins. And in 1889, a man named Walter Rye wrote a history to raise funds for the restoration of the church. And in the history, it tells the story of a, a little ghost, childlike figure dressed in white rising from the ground, and that a great gash appeared at its throat and blood poured down in a torrent down its white clothes, and then it just vanished with a sigh. So uh, that's a particularly spooky one, I think. It's very weird because I never knew Chroma was this haunted. Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely. There's such a history to it, and when you delve deep into it, you find a load of great stuff. Yeah, it's weird because I've lived here my whole life and I didn't even know that all this yeah, really existed. Yeah, exactly. Just do the research and you'll find loads of stories and there's there's lots of other stories in Cromer as well, so uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for like being here and actually telling mm -hmm. us You're all these stories. You're absolutely welcome. Cromer is full of more history than I thought it had. I've loved finding out about it. If you want to find out more about Cromer's history, the museum will be open in April.